Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tuba Thoughts. This is Intro to Tuba, I'm Drew, and today we're going to be taking a look at the F major scale. Now before we get started, I'd just like to remind you that these are all fingerings for a B-flat tuba. And if you're starting tuba for the first time, there's a very good chance that you're playing a B-flat tuba. But if you're not sure, go ahead and double check with your teacher first. But assuming we have a B-flat tuba, the first note of an F scale, of course, is going to be F. And this is low F, so we're going to start with 1 and 3, way down low. Going up from F, we're going to go to G, which is 1 and 2. Then from G, we're going to go to A, which is second valve. Then from A, we're going to go to B flat, which is open. And then going up the rest of the scale, this scale is very special because we're going to repeat those four fingers exactly again. So up from B flat, for example, we go up to C, which is 1 and 3. From C, we're going to go up to D, which is 1 and 2. From D, we're going to go up to E natural, which is second valve. And then finally, up to F, which is open. Going back down the scale from F, we're going to go back to E, which is second valve. Then from E, we're going to go down to D, which is 1 and 2. From D, we're going to go down to C, which is 1 and 3. And then for the last four notes, again, this is a very special scale. We're going to repeat the last four fingers again, this time in reverse order. So C goes down to B flat, which is open. Then B flat is going to go down to A, which is second valve. A is going to go down to G, which is 1 and 2. And then G is going to go down to F, which is 1 and 3. So now we're going to take a look at the F major arpeggio. And remember, the arpeggio is the first, third, fifth, and last note of a scale. So for uh, this arpeggio, we're going to start on F, which is 1 and 3. Then we're going to go up to A, which is 2. Then after A, we're going to go to C, which is 1 and 3 again. And then finally, up to F which is open. Going back down the major arpeggio from F, we're going to go back down to C, which is 1 and 3. Down from C, we're going to go to A, which is 2. And then finally going back down to low F, which is 1 and 3. Let's listen to that again on the three valve tuba. On the four valve tuba, the fingers for the F scale are just a little bit different, but not too bad. So let's go ahead and look through them together. So first, we're going to start with low F, but instead of using one and three, we're just going to use fourth valve by itself. Moving up from F, we're going to go to G, which is one and two. Then from G, we're going to go up to A, which is first valve. Then from A, we're going to go up to B flat, which is open. And just like before, because this is a very special scale, we're going to repeat those four fingers over again. So when we go up to C, we're going to use fourth valve this time. And then we're going to go back to one and two for D. And then after D, we're going to go up to E natural. Careful here, this is second valve. And then after E natural, we're going to go up to F. Going down from high F, we're going to go to E natural, which is second valve. You might be tempted to play E flat, but this is uh, just E natural, second valve. From uh, E, we're going to go down to D, which is 1 and 2. And then from D, we're going to go down to C, but instead of using first and third, we're going to use just fourth valve by itself. And again, because this is a very special scale, we're going to repeat those four fingers again for the next four notes. So down from C, we're going to go to B flat, which is open. Uh, down from B flat, we're going to go to A, which is second valve. Down from A, we're going to go to G, which is 1 and 2. And then finally from G, we're going to go back down to low F, which is just fourth valve by itself. Let's see how this sounds on the four valve tuba. All right, 
right, so that about wraps it up today for the F scale. Uh, if you like this video and you found it useful, uh, please feel free to uh, like it and also subscribe to this channel for more videos. Uh, and if you have any ideas for videos that would be useful to you or might be useful to some friends, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below as well. I also have a Facebook group uh, by the same name, Tuba Thoughts, where you can check it out where I do a bunch of uh, essays about tuba and tuba playing. Uh, but until next time, everyone, breathe deep and breathe often.